Patriots, F-16s and MiG-29s. Analysts assess Poland's capabilities to shoot down Russian missiles. At the moment, Poland has only two of its own Patriot air defense batteries out of eight ordered. The Polish armed forces also have approximately three Sky Sabre air defense systems from the UK and 17 S-125 Neva SK systems, which are medium range systems, writes Defense Express. Everything else is Army air defense equipment, that is, for direct cover of troops. And here we are talking about 20 Cub air defense systems, 79 Poprad units, 64 OSA P air defense systems and 12 Pilica missile and artillery systems, the publication says. Analysts have noted that Poland will not be able to use all of the above-mentioned air defense systems to repel Russian air attacks in the Ukrainian skies because the Poles also need to cover their own border area around the Russian Kaliningrad enclave. As for fighter aircraft, Poland has about 20 MiG-29 fighters and 48 F-16s. But what part of this fleet the Polish armed forces will be able to use to protect Ukrainian airspace also remains unclear, experts added. The specific parameters for the deployment of Polish air defense systems to protect Ukrainian airspace will depend on both bilateral agreements between Warsaw and Kiev and on some decisions during the NATO summit, which may remain non-public, Defense Express suggested. Recall, NATO allies will provide Ukraine with five additional Patriot systems, the SAMP-T system, and dozens of tactical air defense systems. Besides the Patriot and SAMP-T systems, in the coming months, the US and its partners intend to provide Ukraine with dozens of tactical air defense systems, according to a joint statement by US President Joe Biden, Prime Minister of the Netherlands Mark Rutte, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Italian Prime Minister Georgia Meloni, Romanian President Klaus Johannes and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. In a joint statement, the US, Germany and Romania announced additional Patriot batteries for Ukraine. The Netherlands and other partners will provide components to support these batteries. Italy will contribute an additional SAMP-T system. We are working on a further announcement this year of additional strategic air defense systems for Ukraine, the statement said. Ukraine launched large-scale drone attacks across Russia's Belgorod, Rostov, Volgograd and Voronezh targeting Russia's energy infrastructure on the night leading to Tuesday. An oil depot and substations in Russia are on fire and four people have been killed as a result of the attacks. According to the head of the border Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, as a result of the shelling of several villages in the region, four people were killed and 20 others were injured. Some 160 apartments, 60 houses and 140 cars were damaged. There are interruptions in the power lines. The Energomash plant was also attacked in Belgorod. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed downing 38 drones overnight in the south and central parts of the country. A substation in Frolovo and an oil depot in Kalashandan are on fire in the Volgograd region. Local telegram channels have published footage of the fire. Several dozen drones were launched on the Rostov region. According to the head of the region, Vasily Golyabev, two transformers caught fire in the Rodionov Nesvitaysky district. The fire has been extinguished. Local residents reported hearing about 10 explosions during the night. Previously, drones hit a local oil depot and bakery, causing strong fire at the oil depot. Fire also broke out at a substation in the Rostov region, but it has already been extinguished. There have been no reports yet about the outcome of the drone attack on Voronezh region. In the Volgograd region, drones attacked an electrical substation and an oil depot, causing fire at the facilities. The regional governor said that two UAVs were shot down and that the fire was caused by falling debris. In Volgograd and Astrakhan, due to a drone attack, Airports were closed for landing and departure. The drone struck a substation in the Rodionovo Nesvitaysky district of the Rostov region, causing fire. Ukraine has not yet commented on these attacks yet.
Ja, ich glaube, ich stehe an einem Formel. 